Hey guys, uh, on February 22nd, two days ago, Calculate Linux released a new snapshot, Calculate Linux 17.12.2. For those of you that have been following the channel, I've reviewed Calculate Linux a couple of times before. Uh, early on in this channel's history, I reviewed Calculate Linux, their KDE desktop edition. I've also taken a look at their XFCE desktop edition in the past. For this release of Calculate Linux, I'm going to download their Mate edition. Uh, Calculate Linux is a Gen 2 based Linux distribution that, that comes with a uh, easy installer, uh, very quick install. I've installed it, like I said, a couple of times on this channel in the past, and I've, I've always been amazed at how fast the install process goes with Calculate Linux. So today I'm going to install this inside a virtual machine. The ISO size for their Mate desktop edition is 2 gigs. Okay, so I'm loaded this up inside VirtualBox. When we get our boot menu here, we have three options. We have Calculate Linux Desktop 17.12.2 Mate Live DVD. This loads us straight into the live environment. We also have options for Test Memory and Boot from First Hard Disk. I'm just going to go ahead and boot directly into the live environment. All right, and here we are in the live desktop environment. This, of course, is the Mate desktop. On the desktop, we have an icon for Calculate Linux install. I'm going to go ahead and click that. We could, of course, just play around in the live environment, but, you know, I, I would rather actually do a full install. The installer, we the first screen, locale and time zone, locale. English United States has been chosen for me. That's correct, so I don't have to do anything there. Time zone. We do have to choose our time zone. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this. I've complained about this the uh, two times before that I've installed Calculate. Uh, this time zone list is not organized very well. For example, uh, the America list, the American time zones, um, they're not really categorized alphabetically. Uh, so it's very confusing. I need America, Chicago here, which is in the central time zone, so that works for me. But that list of time zones could be organized much better. Installation image, it has found the Calculate Linux Desktop Mate ISO that I downloaded, so that's correct. I just click Next. All right, installation type, erase disk and install Calculate Linux. That's what I'm, I'm going to choose. I'm just going to let Calculate Linux have the entire hard drive of this virtual machine. Uh, for those of you that need to do some manual partitioning, say if you're dual booting alongside another operating system, such as Windows, uh, you may need to do some partitioning. I'm just going to let Calculate Linux do its automatic partitioning. All right, partition options. Uh, swap partition? Yeah, I'll create a swap. The, the partition for the update, no, I don't need that. Slash var slash calculate, yeah, why not? Uh, use the UEFI bootloader, loader, I don't need that. Use LVM, I don't need that. Uh, sw swap partition size. Since I'm in a virtual machine, I don't want to create a very big swap at all because it's just going to be wasted space. So 512 megabytes is what I'm going to choose for a swap partition. All right, devices for install. I only have one here, slash dev slash SDA. I'm going to tick that on. I'm going to click next. All right, here is our partition scheme. Again, we have a swap. That's 512 megs. We have our root partition, and an extended for file system. And that's going to be 15 gigs in size, slash bar slash calculate extended for file system. That's 9.4 gigs in size. And then slash bar slash calculate slash home. Hmm, that's, oh, okay, I see. It's a, our home partition, and then that's going to take the rest of, of the disk. I'm going to click Next. Network settings, I don't need to do anything here. I'm just going to click Next. Users, okay, we need to set a root password. So, I'm going to create a root password here. All right. 
Use root password for editing boot menu. That's ticked on by default. I'll leave that ticked on. Users. We have one user created already. It's a guest user. I'm assuming this is our user for the live environment we're currently in. Uh, we can go ahead and just delete this user, though. We won't need it. And then hit the plus symbol here and create our actual user. I'm going to create my username. I'm going to call it DT Administrator. We're going to give it full access. Groups. We need to make DT a member of a couple of groups at least. You know what? I know I'm going to want pseudo privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and add my home user to the pseudo group. I'm also going to add my home user to the wheel group. And that's good enough for now. We can always add this user to more groups later if we need to. Then we need a password for this user. I'm going to click OK. And now we've created our user. Auto login. No auto login is chosen by default. I'm going to leave that. I don't like to auto login for privacy reasons. Audio. Pulse audio has been chosen for us. That's correct. I'm just going to leave that. All right. Video driver. Auto detection. Let's see what our options are. AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. I'm going to just do auto detection. Of course, we're in a virtual machine here. So compositing is turned on. Screen resolution 1024 by 768. Now I do use a 9, 1920 by 1080 monitor, so I could change this if I wanted to. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to make it a little bigger. How about, I don't know, 1280 by 1024? Yeah, that's good. That's a, a decent enough uh, resolution to do this review. Grub Terminal. GFX term has been chosen for that. I, I guess that's fine. I really don't need to play with that. Updates. Automatically check for updates. That's ticked on by default. It's going to check every 24 hours. That's fine with me. We also have options for clean obsolete program archives and update other overlays. Those are not ticked on by default, so I won't bother ticking them on. And then I believe this is starting the installer. We have our basically our summary here of everything we've chosen. I'm going to click Run, and it's creating our new partition table. should format the drive right to the disk. The install. Uh, in past installs I've done of Calculate Linux, the install process is very fast once it gets to this point, maybe five minutes. So I'm going to pause the recording. And the inst installation has completed. Again, that took maybe five minutes to run through this here. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, would you like to re reboot your computer now to complete the installation? Anytime you install a new operating system, you have to reboot the machine to complete the installation process. So I'm going to click yes and reboot the machine. All right, I have rebooted my freshly installed Calculate Linux 17.12.2, their Mate desktop edition. And let's see how long boot up time takes. Boot up time for most Linux distributions these days, uh, usually 10 to 15 seconds. If I recall correctly, though, uh, Calculate Linux does take a little longer than that to boot up. I do like the uh, splash screen, though, with the, the volcano, the Calculate Linux. Uh, pr pretty cool splash screen. Yeah, and this is what I was thinking. It does take a little longer to boot up than normal. I was thinking, you know, maybe 20 or 30 seconds for Calculate Linux. That's what I recall in the past. Also, this is the very first time we are booting into our newly installed Calculate Linux. Sometimes the very first boot up takes a little longer than normal. All right, we got to our login screen. So here we are in our Mate desktop. I'm going to quickly go through the default programs installed. So I'm going to go up here to our menu. Under Accessories, we have our Character Map, our Disk Utility. We have InGrandpa Archive Manager. That's our archive utility for zip, unzip, that sort of thing. We have GTK Record My Desktop for recording your desktop. Much the same way I'm recording my desktop now, making this video. We have, of course, our Mate calculator, standard calculator app. 
We have the Mate font viewer, Mate search tool. We have Parcelite. Parcelite is our clipboard here. Also under accessories, we have the Pluma text editor. The text editor in the Mate desktop environment, Pluma 1.18.3. Pluma is a small and lightweight text editor for the Mate desktop environment. Also under accessories, we have our screenshot utility. Under graphics, we have the Eye of Mate image viewer. We have GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. GIMP is a image editor, a raster image editor. It is basically our free and open source Adobe Photoshop alternative. And this particular version of GIMP is GIMP 2.8.22. Also under graphics, we have the Mate Color Selection Utility, and we have Xsane for our scanner. Internet, we have Avahi, we have Claws Mail for our mail client, we have Deluge. Deluge is a BitTorrent client, really nice BitTorrent client. Also under internet, we have Gajim, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that, that is our uh, Jabber client. We have HexChat, which is our IRC chat client. Looks like out of the box it connects straight away to the free node network on IRC. Uh, it's important to have an IRC client on any Linux distro because almost every Linux distribution they have a support channel on the free node IRC network. So if you need support for Calculate Linux, just connect to Calculate Linux, their support channel on the free node network. We also have Mozilla Firefox. Also under internet, we have Remina, which is our uh, remote desktop application. We have SMTube, browse and search videos from YouTube. Under sound and video, we have Clementine. Clementine is our audio player here. It's our music player. Clementine is a fantastic music player, fully featured. Also under sound and video, we have SM player for our video player. We have the sound utility. Uh, Office, we have our document viewer, we have FB reader, and we have the entire LibreOffice suite. We have base, calc, draw, impress, math, and writer. We also have a dictionary, Mate dictionary. Under system tools, we have Kaja. Kaja is the file manager in the Mate desktop. Kaja 1.18.5. Kaja lets you organize files and folders both on your computer and online. Also under system tools we have the calculate console. And this is where we have some uh, settings and preferences. We also have options for backup and restore. So if I click backup uh, we have the option for verbose output. We click run. I'm not going to bother making a backup on this video. Of course, that would make the backup to restore from a backup. Of course, you would click restore. Then we have some uh, builder stuff. Break the builder, change the builder, create containers, create an image. Also, configuration. We have configuration for audio, boot, configure a live menu, configure a package, locale, network session, system, update check, and video. Click video. See what we have. Options for screen resolution. I wonder if I could actually change the screen resolution here wonder if I click that, would it do anything? I'm not sure what this will do, but I didn't bother installing any uh, VirtualBox guest editions or anything, so I'm not sure this is going to actually change the screen resolution or not. I'm not too concerned if it does or doesn't. It says to apply the changes, restart the X server, so I'm going to have to reboot. Be right back. And of course, I rebooted the machine. Now, the grub menu and all actually was 1280 by 1024, but once I actually got to the login manager and the desktop, it's back to, I think, 1024 by 7, whatever. So, a little smaller screen resolution than what I was trying to get, but anyway, like I said, I haven't installed the VirtualBox guest editions for this, so obviously that would give us a bigger screen resolution. Um, back to system tools, we have Calculate Linux Update. Now, this snapshot was released two days ago, so really shouldn't be anything to update. 
Right, with the update tool, we have the option of using only stable updates. That's ticked on by default. We also have options for search for the most appropriate update server, save packages used during build, and then we have click for advanced settings here. We click this and we have some more options. We have uh, some repo stuff, Gen 2 repos, calculate repos, uh, some emerge stuff, uh, various things we can tick on. I'm going to cancel that. I'm not going to bother running an update on camera. Also under system tools we have gparted, which is our partition editor. Uh, very important, especially if you make a live disk, disk of a, or a live USB stick out of Calculate Linux, you need something like gparted on it. It's great if you're going to use this as a system restore, like USB stick. A log file viewer, we have the Mate Disk Usage Analyzer, Mate System Monitor. Let's check out the system monitor, see what kind of resources we're using. Now I've opened a ton of programs here in the last few minutes, so this may not be a fair representation of CPU and memory. CPU is a little high right now. Looks like it's using oh, nearly 100% of one of the two cores that I gave this machine and about 10% of the other core. But we have a lot of stuff running. Had a lot of stuff up here in the uh, sys tray. I tried to close most of it. I know when I opened Clementine, it was still running in the background uh, and various other things. The clipboard manager is still running up here. Memory. It's only using 476 megs of the 6 gigs of memory I gave this virtual machine. That's actually really good. So good job on that. Also under system tools, we have the Mate terminal. Just your standard terminal emulator. And then we have our places category. This just opens our file manager at various places within our directory structure. So, for example, if I open the home folder here, this just opens the Kaja file manager in my home directory. Also, system, we have, of course, the control center. And this is where you do all your settings and preferences. For example, under hardware, we have Bluetooth, display, keyboard, mouse, power management, print settings, sound, we have some network stuff, and we have look and feel, such as appearance. Let's click appearance. See what kind of theming we have. We have this custom theme turned on by default, it looks like. We have black mate. I like black themes. Let's check that out. That looks pretty good. What else do we have? Something called Minta. This looks kind of like a grayish or silverish theme. That's really nice, too. You know what? I'm going to go back to the black mate, though. I like dark themes. Just going to go with that for now. Also, under look and feel, we have uh, the Calculate Linux update tool again. We have our menu editor for editing the menu here. I have screensaver, windows, and then personal stuff about me, assistive technologies, file management, our preferred applications, and our startup applications. The startup Startup applications would be those programs that when you first log into the Mate desktop environment, start up. I'm going to right click on the desktop. I'm going to choose change desktop background. Let's see what kind of wallpapers we have. And yeah, and I've seen all these wallpapers before in the previous editions of Calculate Linux I've installed. Uh, some really nice wallpapers. Most of them involve a pair of penguins. They really love the uh, the two penguins and the Calculate Linux logo. There's several wallpapers along those lines there. See, so just a different variation, different color, but two penguins and the Calculate Linux logo. This one here is really nice because it is a quartet of penguins. And then it has the tagline here, Easy Linux from the Source. And I think I'm just going to go with this one here. This is a really nice, neat wallpaper, kind of dark blue with some, what's that, the Mate logo. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, I've opened a terminal. I'm going to type uh, uname-r. All right, we're using kernel 4.14.19, so pretty recent kernel. In the top right hand of the screen, of course, we have our power session here for suspend, hibernate, restart, cancel, and shut down. I'm going to cancel before it shuts down the virtual machine here. And then we have this icon here, protect your computer from unauthorized use. So this is going to lock the screen. So if I click that, the screen is locked. To unlock it, of course, I have to 
give a password and we're back in. We have our clock and calendar here. And then of course the sys tray stuff, including our clipboard manager here, our sound settings, and our network applet here. All in all, what do I think of Calculate Linux? Well, you guys that have seen my previous reviews of Calculate Linux know this, that I love Calculate Linux. Uh, it is one of the best Gen 2 based distros out there. Very easy to install. I love the installer. The installer is easy and straightforward to use, but it, for those power users, you know, for, like for setting up the partitions and, you know, you want that separate home partition or var calculate partition or what have you, you know, it's also great for power users. I really love the installer. The install is very fast, too. It's, it's crazy how fast Calculate Linux the install goes. Uh, from start to finish, the total time for install, maybe 10 minutes, maybe. Very fast install. Uh, this is the first time I've looked at their Mate edition. The Mate desktop is great. Uh, very comfortable to live in. Uh, Linux novices, especially those coming from Windows, would be very comfortable running Mate. Very easy to, to use. Um, all in all, I give Calculate Linux their 17.12.2 Mate desktop edition. I give it an A. Peace, guys.